So physiology, in its simplest sense, is about how the body works um, and whether things are going right or wrong. So physiology isn't just a study of, of disease or, or health, it's a study of health and disease. Recognising what links health conditions and physiology together is, is sort of the, you know, the holy grail um, of understanding um, uh, disease, for example. So any disease is underpinned by physiology and a change in physiology, and it's that we, that we seek to understand. You know, we're seeing with the recent pandemic that many people are making the choices to to leave work um, in middle and older age, and maybe that does put financial stress on individuals, but it may be that in particular, if that is occurring more frequently in a younger workforce, you know, that's not, that's not at all sustainable. Younger people won't necessarily have even the choice to um, financially survive, as it were. So it's imperative that they are able to stay at work um, and continue to work, for, you know, from, from a financial, but of course, all, all of the other important things that go with um, being able to work. Physiology can essentially explain the underpinning of the developments of chronic conditions. Um, and I think that's just a, the bottom line here, is that these conditions are incipient, whether they be musculoskeletal, whether they be mental health type conditions, or whether they be sort of, you know, diseases, especially those increasing in prevalence with older age. We need to increase, you know, public and government awareness of physiological issues contributing to work departure. We can highlight physiology's role in, um, in being able to detect and un understand more about the incipient features of these conditions before they manifest. And I think that can be a really important role that physiology can play. We need to recognise that ageing essentially is a silent, incipient, changing process of the body. I think that, you know, physiology can try and maybe point us in the direction of understanding more about how, how we may treat aging more broadly. The UK research councils um, as a whole have a focus on, have done for some time on aging research. It's been a pleasure to chair this, um, this committee for this laudable effort to try and understand more about um, why people uh, in middle and older age are leaving the workforce. I hope that it, it makes some waves uh, into the government to highlight some of the key issues that are at play. I also very much hope that um, it inspires younger scientists and aspiring physiologists in particular to understand really the breadth of what you know physiology can bring to the table and when it comes to solving major sort of societal problems such as those highlighted within uh, the Physiological Society's report.